Can I get a towel? Yeah. No question. Polly, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Right here. Hey. Andre Ward, many, many congratulations. You get the stoppage win. You told us that there was going to be a surprise. Having his way, he's got to dig deep in it. I don't know if, if he had the, you know, the right answer tonight. Obviously, he didn't get it. Like, that's the one thing I wanted to ask about. I don't mean, enough people ask about the stoppage. I thought the stoppage was I mean, premature. But I thought, in that way, it took away from you having the opportunity for the emphatic stoppage. Yeah. Because I, I, I really felt you were coming on in the fight. I really felt Sergey was slowing down. Does, does, does that give you a bittersweet feeling? Nah, you know what I mean? Because. Not at, because not at all. I'm, I'm going to tell you how I get it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it how I get it, man. It's a dangerous sport, man. So if I clip them in the first round and they and they, you know, and they stop the fight, you know, of course I want the fans to get their money's worth, but I, that's got nothing to do with me, you know. And I don't think, you know, Kovalev complained about it. Uh, he was in a submissive position. So how can how can you not stop? And there's no standing eight count. He he was. But at the end of the fight, he was telling Max was a low blows and whatnot. So that's what I'm telling you about. But the this emphatic is, but stoppage. But this the emphatic I'm... stoppage takes away any issues. And I feel like I feel like I was almost frustrated for you because in that way. How did that takes away the question marks? I, I didn't, I didn't, listen, listen, if it's question marks after this, that ain't got nothing to do with me. If y'all still got question marks after tonight, that has nothing to do with me. I'm going to go enjoy my family, kiss my wife, I gave her the check, and uh, we're going to be out of was a lot more dramatic, actually, the fight than the, uh, the first one. Did you enjoy it in that? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I've been saying it the whole time, and I think I've been proving it. You know, I've been facing big punches my whole career. We found different ways to win. And I knew that um, me fighting him one time and computing his style, I knew that that it wasn't you know a foregone conclusion. I had to go out there and execute, but I knew I, I knew some things about him that I didn't know the first time around. And I, and I was done with that hidden canvas business. I didn't want no no parts of that this time. Do you think mentally and physically you broke him in the end? I mean, I, I think it was plain to see. I think it was plain to see. I, I think you know, and I'm not a person, man, who demands respect and none of that stuff. You don't have to respect me. I'm not a person that that demands anything, but. <laughs> At a certain point in time, you got to give a person they just do, man. I'm 13 years in, and, and I've been doing it against the best. And, you know, everybody, I was supposed to be, the winner of the last fight was supposed to be a top of pound for pound. There was nothing that said if you win a close decision or something. If you win, you get the spot. They didn't give it to me. I didn't complain. I kept my, I kept, put my head down and kept working. Now here we are again. So, Olympic gold medal, Super 6 winner, two-weight champion. You're right up there in our books. Sorry. Andre. At the end of this fight, you clearly showed that you were breaking him. At the end of the last fight, was also you could tell your game plan yeah. was to break yeah. him. Was that a, that continuation from the end of the last fight? Did you notice that in the end of the last fight, yeah, that yeah. You, you were breaking him? So oh, yeah. let's start the process of breaking him mentally oh, yeah. earlier. Was that the plan you and Verge came into this fight? Of course. More so than physically, was it a, the, the, to break him mentally? Was that was that something discussed? Of course, it was it was physical and mental. They they go hand in hand. You know, they're not mutually exclusive. Exclusive. You you know, um, the physical in turn, you know taps into the mental and the mental taps into the physical and we had a we had a we had a, uh, a strong pace i was breathing he was breathing but i'm used to working tired i'm used to being uncomfortable being uncomfortable that's how we work that's how we train so uh when i seen him putting his arms on the ropes in between the rounds see i watch all that stuff after the second and third round that that's 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 trouble for him that's trouble all i gotta do is keep being smart and keep pressing the pace and i don't know what the scorecards were some people are gonna say i was down some people are gonna say i was up but the fight starts a championship fight starts after the sixth round was that why at the start of every round you were throwing a power shot? Yep. I noticed you came out every round throwing a power shot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Andre, I know you want to go and celebrate with your many family and friends here, but finally, what is next? What, what are the dreams beyond this? I don't know, man. Like, for me, I never look ahead. I don't. You know, my whole situation, my whole life, every time I step in the ring, my name is on the line, my legacy is on the line, everything that I work for is on the line. So I really can't even think past this. So I gotta go home, decompress, unwind, and then you know make some tough decisions. You know about what's next. Enjoy your win, undefeated. I appreciate it. Everybody in the UK, I appreciate you staying up, watching this. I love you guys. I'm gonna be back out there soon.
Thanks, Andre. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Larry.